The city hospital is out of a job tonight after posting a picture of a Halloween costume showing her in blackface. KCTV 5's Amy Anderson is live tonight with that story. Amy. Well, Brad, it's not the first time someone has been fired for their choice of Halloween costume. It likely won't be the last. Tonight, a nurse here at St. Luke's East in Lee Summit is out of a job after posting a photo of herself to social media. This is the post from Shelby Heenan's now deactivated Facebook page where she and another are seen in blackface. Heenan captioning the photo Jay-Z and Beyonce. Dr. Matthew Osborne is an associate professor of history at UMKC and teaches the history of blackface minstrelsy in American theater. It was meant to um, denigrate and, um, uh, and lampoon uh, African American people, often in settings that were um, meant to show black people in a position of servitude. It was just last week Megyn Kelly was fired from NBC after saying she didn't understand why dressing in blackface was so offensive that it didn't bother anyone back when she was a kid. The fact that this kind of racist behavior persists um, is simply uh, an indication that um, our racist history is not past, basically. The, the history is the present. UMKC's Dr. McKinney King contends we're not doing a good enough job of educating people and we need to use every opportunity like this to start a dialogue, to learn something, to change. And one other thing, Dr. King says one good way to advance ourselves as a society, find some friends who don't look exactly like you and you'll naturally begin to realize what's right and what's wrong. Because we're very segregated um, in our in our lives, really, day to day, we don't have those relationships which would help um, inform um, how what we are doing is affecting somebody else. Now, St. Luke's Hospital says it learned about that social media post yesterday, and by lunchtime today, Heenan was no longer an employee here. The hospital releasing a statement today saying, in part, St. Luke's is deeply committed to a culture of diversity and inclusion. It is fundamental to who we are as an organization, and we vigorously protect it on behalf of all our patients and employees, and we expect those who represent us to do the same. Reporting live tonight in Lee Summit, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV 5 News.